come with me to walk the block here and here or here, even here. All important places where we'll discover the cultural influences of African-Americans, Spaniards, and Cubans in the third largest city in Florida. I'm Tamika Jones. Let's explore the rich culture and history that's in and around the city of Tampa. Just look at this gorgeous city, a vibrant downtown, a popular river walk, and obviously great weather throughout the year. I mean, it is Florida. The perfect place to enjoy a boat ride on the Tampa Bay or simply be a spectator on the river walk. Now less than 10 minutes away is Ybor City, a historic landmark district. It's named after Vicente Martinez Ybor, a Spanish immigrant who opened the doors of the area's first cigar factory in 1886. Since then, the cigar business has continued to thrive, with Ybor being recognized as the cigar capital of the world. Smells like I'm in our place. Hi! How are you guys doing? A cigar tour? Yep. So welcome to J.C. Newman Cigar Company. We're America's oldest family-owned premium cigar manufacturer. That's Holden, our awesome tour guide, who's taking us behind the scenes to where it all goes down. So in our factory, whenever we're making a machine-made cigar, the machine-made cigars get turned around pretty quickly. And the machines are 90 years old. Still the same production. This has not changed since 1954. We're making 60,000 or 70,000 cigars a day up here on a good day. And through here, these are our cigar makers. What became popular in America after the 1950s? But the traditional art form of making a cigar is by hand. And that's what started in Spain and Cuba 200, 300 years ago. Luis, a master cigar roller, is about to show us how it's done right. The last step in the wrapper is the final cap on the cigar. It's ready to age. For me? Yeah. Thank you. It smells so good. I'll smoke this in a year. And in the words of Tabitha Brown, because that's my business. Thank you. Welcome to Tampa. Thank Cheers. You. Happy to be here. I sat down with Visit Tampa Bay's president and CEO, Santiago Carrada, to chat. I would share with you, bud. <laughs> Just kidding, but Santiago does share more about Ebor's history. You really have, you know, a district that structurally and physically represents the past and the work of all those immigrant communities that came here. There are black influences, mm -hmm. there are Latino influences, there are European influences. People who came here to work in the cigar industry and this was their home. And so what we have here is our 1905 salad. We're in Columbia Restaurant, the original in fact, that opened in the district in 1905. Hence the name of the salad. So it's been family owned for the whole time. And, you know, it is uh, the world's largest, oldest Spanish restaurant. It takes one city block, some incredible staples around the table when you talk about the shredded beef, the ropa vieja, and the tomato paste with the peppers and, and the onion, obviously white rice with peas. And my favorite, I could eat sweet plantains all day long. A traditional uh, chicken and rice plate, but chicken with yellow rice as opposed to white rice. You'll see a lot of yellow rice in Tampa. Another big staple in the Spanish community is your, you know, caramel vanilla flan as a dessert. You got the Tampa Cuban Cuba. sandwich with Tampa, a very Tampa Cuban okay. sandwich. It's a very different Cuban sandwich. You know, uh, a lot of Cuban sandwiches don't have the Genoa salami. That's, uh, you know, a Sicilian influence. You know, obviously the marinated pork is a Cuban influence. You know, our Cuban sandwich is a traditional Cuban sandwich, but has evolved. I could taste the diversity in right? the sandwich. Right, we're continuing to evolve, you know, the palette here. Uniquely, they're uniquely Tampa yeah. because you're not going to see them anywhere else. Paying homage to black activist Angela Davis, who once said, quote, we have to talk about liberating minds as well as liberating society. This street art painted by a local black artist lies right across the street from Perry Harvey Senior Park, which is named after a black man who made a major impact in Tampa's African-American community. Fred Hearns, a historian at Tampa Bay History Center, met me here for a walk and talk. From the late 1890s until the mid 1960s, this was a booming, bustling area, commercial district known as Central Avenue for black people to go into business uh, as well as for entertainers. There were hundreds of role models for young African-American boys and girls. So you saw excellence 
and you could model your life after the excellence you saw in the black people here on Central Avenue. It was a safe haven for black people in the midst of the greater city of Tampa, where segregation did not begin to disappear until the mid-1960s. Look at the art on the walls. You literally walk through history. With every step, the image changes. It's such a unique experience, a first for me. The History Walk tells the story of black people in Tampa from right after slavery ended in 1864 up until the present day. Behind me is Leaders Row, where we single out seven prominent African-American leaders who were role models for us Back in the heart of Ybor City is 7th and Grove, where their mantra is eat, vibe, and flourish. So eat meaning that we love food integrity, and we were raised, and all of my partners were raised on good food. We wanted to create a menu that told a story, and we believe that Southern food is literally the biggest storyteller out there. It also has like a sense of nostalgia to it, right? When you eat that first piece of greens, it really transports you to Home. We done because I want some green job. <laughs> Vibe speaks for itself. When you come in here, you're literally transported to somewhere that you honestly don't think is in Tampa. You meet new people, you you know, the music is good, the, the, the energy is really, really good. <laughs> Thank you, right on. Flourish is something that, you know, we believe that a flower blooms within its own time. You know what I'm saying? And we believe in that perfectly imperfect view. So where you can come and literally be exactly who you want to be. <laughs> we just bring a different type of vibe, a different type of culture, a different type of energy to historic Ebor City. Don't do that, oh, y'all. Cheers to Tampa's historic Ebor City, where you can embrace the past, the present, and 